may the Lord continue to watch over you. And may the Lord continue to bless you because you have taken on a noble task. The task of inaugurating the kingdom of God in the lives of people. There is nothing more precious than to see somebody who has nothing receive everything because they've received Christ. Because he's everything. He's all. So may the Lord bless you, my brothers, my friends. May he uphold you. And so I speak the blessing of the Lord over your life, over your family, over your children. I pray that the Lord will bless your home and the Lord will bless your family. That the Lord will bless your bread and the Lord will bless your water. And the Lord will bless the work of your hands. And in the name of Jesus, every plan, maneuver, operation, activity, manifestation, device of evil against your life is canceled. The greater one lives inside of you. The Lord is your safety and your protection. In your going in and in your coming out. In your travels. Into the hinterland. By the wayside. In the valley. On the mountain. In a plane. On a boat. In a bus. In a vehicle. May the Lord keep you safe. May he keep you safe at home. Safe on the road. Safe on the water. May the Lord crown you with life. Good life. Abundant life healthy life may the lord cause your strength to spring forth may the lord heal you of every infirmity manifested and not manifested in your bloodstream in your nervous system in the cells of your body in your bone structure in your muscular structure in all the organs of your body be healed by the tissues of your skin the life of Christ manifests in your mortal body. May the eternal God show you his salvation. Where others fall, the Lord will lift you up. Where others fail, the Lord will cause you to succeed. Where others have bowed in shame, the glory of the Lord will rise upon you. The Lord is your refuge. The Lord is your son. The Lord is your shield. The Lord is your glory all about you. We speak the favor of God to be like the opening of waters in your life. Like the rivers that flow in desolate heights. Like the fountains in the valleys. Like the opening of pools in the wilderness. May the Lord refresh you in time of weariness. May your bow and your arrow never return empty. May the Lord give you the spoils of the heathen. And cause his heritage to be established in your life. By the power of the Most High who lives in you and works in you. May your ministry thrive. And that which you have planted will never die. It will grow from generation to generation to generation. We speak life to your ministry. We speak life to the work of your hands. Whatever the enemy has planned against you is turned around. That which we lost is recovered. The Lord will restore to you that which you have cried about, you have prayed about, you have anguished about. In your heart of hearts, you've cried to the Lord. May the Lord cause the joy of his spirit to crown you may the lord cause you to excel in favor may the lord cause you to abound in silver and gold you will never lack your children will never lack your grandchildren will never lack we speak for salvation as a fountain in your family that the gospel you have preached shall never dry up in your family. Nobody in your bloodline, 
nobody in your bloodline for generations after you will be lost every generation of yours will be completely saved completely delivered completely belong to jesus christ we covenant that everyone that is married into your family will be blessed and completely belong to jesus and we speak this blessing upon you upon the generation after you the third and fourth generation endless generations as he bless abraham and as he bless sarah so we bless you and your spouses you will be celebrated your light will shine you will be fruitful you will increase you will have abundance in the name of jesus i speak to you generational blessings the blessings of the lord god jehovah to rest upon you this day as you mark your 60th year may it begin the greatest years of your life the happiest years of your life the most fulfilling years of your life and may the lord whom you have honored by the preaching of this gospel honor you for the rest of your life you will never lack you will never be defeated you will never be bowed down you will not be, never be limited where you are obstructed you will run through the troop where you are obstructed you will leap over walls in the name of jesus may the lord surround you with good people we call for talent abilities strengths wisdom knowledge to be networked around you may the lord surround you with the best of his gifts the best of his gifts men and women talented and gifted will build that which god has given you to build and in your lifetime you will see the desire of your soul become a reality that which you have begun to build your eyes will see its fulfillment and its completion you will live and see it and rejoice in the faithful god whom you have served faithfully may the power of christ go ahead of you wherever you go may he make a way for you where there is no way may the lord shield you and may this anointing and this grace that the lord has given to you rest upon your children and your children's children and rest upon this church and the willing of this church may they receive a double portion of god what god has placed upon you may the lord cause his light to shine upon you on this day i bless you with the blessings of the heavens above i bless you with the dews with the dew of heaven i bless you with the fatness of the earth i bless you with the wealth of the nations men and women whom you know not shall build your gates they shall establish your foundations for the wealth shall come from the nations of the world the lord will shake nations and bring their wealth to you money will not be a struggle for you money will not be a stress for you may the lord give you stress-free victory in all that you do this day may you enter the joy of the lord may you enter the rest of the lord may you enter deep satisfaction deep fulfillment oceans of joy oceans of joy oceans of joy welling up and flowing out of you and hitting the shores of your life from shore to shore oceans of joy and may everyone who blesses you be blessed And may the Lord cause those who touch you with a good intention to receive more than they have touched. And anyone who prays for you, may the Lord answer their prayer. Anyone who cries for you, may the Lord wipe their tears. Anyone who encourages you, may the Lord encourage them. Anyone who defends you, may the Lord defend them. 
And may the Lord give you so much victory, there will be no enemy around you. No enemy around you. No enemy around you. When you turn to the left, there will be no enemy. You turn to the right, there will be no enemy. You go forward, there will be no enemy. You go backwards, there will be no enemy. For the Lord will turn the hearts of those who dispute you to agree with you. And they will stand with you. Even those who have abandoned you will be restored to you. There will be a return and a restoration and a recovery. By the power of the resurrected Savior Jesus Christ, I invoke these blessings from the scriptures and from the mouth of God over your life. The mouth of the Lord which spoke these blessings in the first place will watch over his word to perform it in your life. And from this day onwards, your blessing shall be evident to all. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. And amen. Happy birthday to you. You are true ambassadors of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord always be your light wherever you are. We love you dearly. We love you so much. We appreciate you. We respect you. We honor you. And we pray the best for you in all the days that lie ahead of you. In Jesus' name. God bless you, my friends. Mm -hmm.